Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I found something that I think is pretty cool, all right? So this is a smart product that's very affordable, that solves a problem for people like me that cut rocks. So a big part of what we do when you have a slab saw for cutting rocks is you cut slabs, you cut slabs. Uh, by way of example, here is a slab that my friend Patrick recently gave me. Thank you for this, Patrick. And you can see that we are a rock that's cut cut thin. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about cutting these things and what I what I picked up. So there's this guy and he sells these things on like Facebook, Etsy, whatever, very affordable. And uh, let's, I, I'd like just to show you this real quick. Okay. So this is what this is. Um, we have a piece of plastic here that is 3D printed and you can kind of see he actually 3D prints a magnet inside it. And then we have some text on there. It says slab grabber, quarter inch, 6.4 millimeters. So here is a slab here. And you can see that we are exactly the same thickness. So this solves a problem that uh, I have, and I'm sure a lot of people have. And uh, we will head over to the slab saw now, and we'll talk about these. I got five different sizes, um, including, the, <laughs> including this big guy, this uh, big half inch guy. And uh, I will show you how I have typically measured out cutting uniform slabs and why these are such a good idea. This is my slab saw here. So after I cut, you can see I have a rock in the saw. And when I want to cut the next slab, what I have to do is I loosen up the carriage I back it out a little bit, just like that, so I don't drag it across the blade. I back it up, I move it forward, and I measure with a tape measure exactly how big of a slab I want. Sorry, that's upside down. <laughs> okay, and that's how I have typically done it. Now, I'm going to bring in, and uh, I have a problem with my saw in that there is a lot of slop in it. A lot of people will just say, turn it, you know, uh, four uh, turns and that'll give you your thickness or whatever just so happens to be the number of turns on the handle. But look at how much slop I have here, right? Like the rock's not moving, my handle's moving. It's not exactly uh, super easy. So I've been using that ruler up until now. I have those slab guides. Let me show you how they work. In this case, I'd like a quarter inch slab. So I can just stick that on just like right there. Move my rock in until it just barely touches. See that right there? That's looking quite perfect. And I'm good. Let's take a cut. The slabs came out just fine, although uh, I had a crack running through it. So I got two, two little guys here, um, but the proper, proper thickness, proper thickness. Let's look at these things. I have gone through and checked all of these with some calipers and they are all within uh, a tenth of a millimeter of accuracy, which that's plenty good. Um, you can kind of see here the, how this is made. There's like a structure in there with magnets 3D printed in place, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, these do come out, because when you shipped them to me, it was like this, right? Uh, I might put a drop of glue on that and put it back in there like that. Um, I see no reason to ever take them apart once, once you have them. But uh, yeah, you know, kind of a simple little product. Uh, five for 30 bucks is... Not bad, not bad for something that is just a little bit of a problem solver. So pretty cool. So yeah, you know, I mean, ain't nobody paying me to say anything good about anything ever. Uh, I just thought this was kind of kind of a cool thing. I like this idea of supporting small time manufacturers of lapidary equipment and uh, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, maybe uh, maybe this is something that you would find useful. If so, go check them out. I'll throw a link down below. Um, if you know of any other kind of cool 
lapidary products like this. Um, I'm always into, I'm always interested in seeing what people are making. So you can always uh, send me an email or just leave a comment. I read every single comment. Uh, yeah, let me know if there's something cool out there that I haven't seen and I should uh, look at. Thanks everybody.